Hello everybody, this is MicroBuddy5, and yeah, I know, it's been a long time since I've posted a video. I'm going to try and stay on top of that, but I've been busy with a lot of, thing with a lot of things. Um, and yeah, my voice has gotten deeper, so shut up. Anyway, we're going to make a green screen in Sony Vegas and put a background. So, like a video, there's a video right here. Um, well, it's not a video, it's actually just a picture, but it, it works the same. So, it's just this guy, and we have a background, so we'll put that in the bottom layer right here, just like this. We'll stretch it. And we're going to make it look like he's right there. Um, so, click on this right here. Then, click on Sony Chroma Keyer. And you're going to click on this color thing click on the eyedropper tool and then click on the background wherever it looks like it should be a good place so there we go and pretty much it immediately worked but you're also going to kind of want to play with the thresholds like you can kind of see how it changes there and just make it so it works with the background it's probably not going to work immediately like it just did for me but that's because he was in a perfect uh, he he was in the studio, so his green screen was you know perfect and professional. So yeah, this technically works with any color, but I recommend the color green because it works best with you know digital digital cameras. And you can also uh, no wait yeah click on this and then maybe go to levels and sort of brighten them or darken them and make them blend in with the background. So a bit dark so maybe make them a little darker I don't know just play with it until it's right and then that's that's pretty much how you do a green screen it's very simple I uh, hope this helped if you have any questions just comment down below and thank you for watching and again I'll, I'll try and post more videos but it, it's been a long time and I've been pretty busy and I I don't really know what to post I mean if you have any suggestions then let me know